I'm Zlacha Abdominovna from the Department of Languages of Andijan Range of Tashkent State Agrarian University. And today I would like to share some valuable information about how to write successful IELTS writing task one with you. So look here. Um, you can be given any types of charts, graphs, line graphs, uh, or diagrams or tables. So let's say for today's lesson we are given uh, a chart and we have to write IELTS writing task one. Uh, I would like to give you good information about each paragraph and that's why be attentive and watch the video attentively. So, the writing task one should compose uh, the following uh, paragraphs like introduction, overview, body paragraph one and body paragraph two. Uh, let's look at the chart now. As you see, uh, any kinds of diagrams, charts or graphs uh, will have definite descriptions about the chart itself. So, in the introduction paragraph, your task is to give this information in your own words. Or, in other words, you have to paraphrase the given information. So, let's read the information. The chart, this chart, shows the expenditure or the money, uh, the money spent on something, of two countries, they are the United States of America and the United Kingdom, on consumer goods, on different consumer goods like cars, mobile phones, food, books and perfume in 2018. And here you can see uh, the definite numbers that are given in dollars. Uh, besides vertically, we can see um, the names of the consumed goods given in horizontally, uh, like cars, mobile phones, food, books, and perfume. Uh, this is the information uh, that the United Kingdom and the USA spent their money, spent their expenditure on the following five uh, types of goods. So, as you see, uh, the writing task one is divided into four parts. So, we can conclude that the introduction part composes 25% of the writing task one we are going to write. So, uh, as I have said, in introduction part, your task is to paraphrase the description given in the um, task one itself. So let's look to look at the description. The chart shows, it begins with the chart shows. So the chart illustrates. I didn't change the first two words like the chart because uh, we don't have to use synonyms of each word given in the description. Uh, we can give them again because uh, the chart is a chart or the graph is a graph. We don't have to change each word in the given uh, description. So, the chart then comes shows. I wanted to use illustrates uh, instead of shows. Or you can say gives information about. So, illustrates the expenditure. The expenditure, as we know, is the money, is the amount of money spent on something. So, that's why I wrote the amount, amount of money spent on, uh, of two countries on, on consumer goods. Uh, and I wanted to say on five consumer goods, five types of consumer goods. And I wanted to give brackets. Brackets are typical for uh, writing task one and no problems will be if you use brackets. So in brackets, I wanted to give all the um, items uh, in the following order, like cars, mobile phones, food, books, uh, and perfume in the USA and the United Kingdom in 2018. And the last sentence, you have to mention 
what numbers or what symbols are given or how these numbers are measured. Uh, so units, these units, are measured in dollars. You can say, uh, if the percentage is used, you can say the measures are, uh, the units are measured in percentage or in, let's say, in, uh, in sums or something like that. So you have to write exactly what measures are used. So the introduction part, as you see, consists of two sentences. The first one is the complex sentence. Yeah, uh, the second one is an uh, ordinary common sentence. So, the second paragraph of writing test one is overview. Overview is the part when you look, when you summarize uh, all the data given in the description part or given in the chart. Uh, so that's why beginning with overall is a very good beginning. Overall. Overall, the expenditure of the United States, given in red, uh, was higher than that of the United Kingdom. So, look here again. Uh, as you see, with red, we have uh, drawn the USA, uh, the expenditure that spent USA, and with uh, black pin, uh, black. Uh, in we mentioned the United Kingdom. So the overview should give a comparison, comparison or superlative degree uh, where we have to give, where we have to mention the highest points and the lowest points. So let's uh, say, the, let's see, uh, the highest uh, money, the highest sum of money was spent by the red USA on mobile phones. Then the lowest is, uh, this is about $50,000 uh, spent on perfume by the United Kingdom. So in the overview, I have to give the highest points and the lowest points. So look here. Overall, the expenditure of the USA was higher than that of the UK. So the USA, as you see, uh, spent more money than the UK in overall. Both British and Americans both British. I wanted to paraphrase these uh, countries. I didn't want to use uh, the name of countries again and again. So that's why I wanted to give them in the nationalities, like both British instead of the United Kingdom and the Americans instead of the US USA spent the most money on mobile phones. While in the UK, so up to the, this point, um, as you see, most of the money uh, spent by the USA and UK were on mobile phones. So I have to mention this point. That's why I uh, spent the most money on mobile phones and I want to continue the sentence. While in the United Kingdom, the least here, the least amounts were spent on perfume, as you see, uh, compared to books here, to books in the USA. So in this overview, I have given the highest points, like mobile phones, uh, both United States and United Kingdom spend their money, and the least points, uh, that is perfume. So the third paragraph is body paragraph, third and fourth paragraphs, body parag paragraph one and body paragraph two. Um, as we divided the writing task into four parts, this uh, composes 25%, this composes 25%, so the other 50% can be divided into body paragraph one and body paragraph two. In body paragraph A, 
the first. Uh, I wanted to give uh, the information about mobile phones, books, and perfume. Why so? Uh, mobile phones, here, the highest points, as we said. Books, uh, the lowest, uh, uh, yes, the lowest point by the United States. And perfume, the lowest points by the UK. So these three items, mobile phones, books and perfume, should be, uh, should be given in the body paragraph A. And so as we give three main items in the body paragraph A, we have to write about two other uh, items in body paragraph 2. Like the rest is cars and foot. So this is uh, the body paragraph A. Uh, as I said, I have to write about mobile phones, books and perfumes. So I have to give uh, three valid information about these three items. So let's begin the body paragraph A. In terms of mobile phones, why I'm using terms? Um, I, I, because uh, I, don't, I didn't want to use the same words again and again. And if you go up to the end of the sentence, you, sentence, you will understand why I used uh, this uh, construction of sentence. In terms of mobile phones, the USA, this one, spent exactly exactly four hundred thousand dollars on this that is on mobile phones as opposed a very good a linking word to around three hundred fifty thousand dollars why around um, on mobile phones the UK spent about 350 because this is between 300 and 400 but I'm, I don't know if exactly $350,000 uh, were spent on that. That's why I'm saying around, or about, I can say, around $350,000 in the UK. So the highest points are given again. Uh, the expenditure on books, this one is going. Uh, the expenditure on books in the UK was higher than in the USA. So let's turn to the books. Um, the expenditure on books were higher than in the USA. About, in brackets, again I'm using brackets, about $150,000 because uh, no de definite uh, numbers are given, but uh, the point, the index is between $100,000 and $200,000. That's why I am uh, saying about or around uh, $150,000 and $100,000 respectively. Why respectively? If I want to give uh, further information in brackets, and I, if I want to follow the order, I say respectively. It means the first number given in brackets uh, points to the United Kingdom, the first. Uh, and $100,000, it points at the United States. So, uh, respectively is also a good linking word. Then goes... The expenditure on perfume, I wanted to write about perfume, the last sentence of body paragraph A. The expenditure on perfume, here it goes, spent by the United Kingdom was the least. This is the least point, as you see. And the United States, the red one, uh, spent reasonably more, reasonably more, than the British. Why reasonably? Because the difference between the index indices of the United Kingdom and USA are great. That's why I say uh, reasonably. I can say much more. I can say quite more. 
But anyway, I have to show that the difference is really great. So I have given uh, body paragraph A and body paragraph B. Where is body paragraph B? I do, I'm not going to give you body paragraph B because uh, I would like to give you uh, body paragraph B as a home task. So, uh, watch the video again if you didn't understand or, or if you missed uh, something uh, important. And then uh, you will have a good uh, clear utterance about what we have today. And the body paragraph B, that is the uh, sentences about cars and books, uh, would be uh, given as a home touch. So, you should... Uh, complete the writing task one at home with the body paragraph B. Thank you for your time um, and I hope this information would be valid, would be interesting and important in your uh, achieving good results in writing, uh, writing task one. So stay at home and be healthy.